lovely so I feel like crap today hence me wearing my pajamas but excuse that other than that I am soft if it's a baby's bottom because I took my first lush bath and I just want you to know that it feels amazing and thanks to thanks to one of my viewers it's two thirds light okay thanks to one of my viewers um she gave me some advice on how to save the bath bomb because I was like saving it because I was like I want it to be a special occasion when I take this eight dollar bath um but yeah so I like just I didn't have to use all of it but it is like amazing it's like taking a bath in like lotion I don't know it's amazing but anyways today is my part two and this is all of my beauty type stuff that I got for the Christmas for Christmas now just keep in mind I'm not doing one of those like I'm not bragging but I hate when youtubers do that not that I'm a youtuber or anything but um, my cousin works with all of these companies so she didn't buy all of this stuff for me but I'm still spoiled to death that she sends it to me and thrilled like I went through every single thing my mom was like are you still going through that beauty stuff I'm like yeah I'm reading like every instructions um so I'm just gonna start with the ones that I don't know because I was gonna look it up but I thought why don't I just use the internet for what the internet is best for so um this is called Darfin and it's from Perry and it is a serum of a redness relief soothing serum um i don't know this brand and most of the in, like most of the stuff on the sides and on the back are in french there's just this little tiny part that's in english that literally just says it helps reduce redness which i kind of got from the name of it so what is this do you guys use it do you guys like it let me know in the comments down below sorry if this gets like monotonous too because i she just gave got me so much stuff so it's gonna be like rapid fire things so this other thing is lumber i actually did look up lumber and i don't know if i'm saying it right but this is a hydrating infusion i don't think they make this anymore um because i didn't see it on their website i just I don't even know. I just looked at the prices of things and like that's all I did the entire time I was on the website. But um, it's super adorable when you take it out and it deceivingly looks like it's going to be a spritzer and it's not. But I did put it on and it is really moisturizing. Um, I thought it was going to be like one of those like spritz on your face kind of things no ma'am no um and then i think i've heard of this brand but i've never seen it in this packaging so maybe not but it's prescriptives super line preventer i think that this is probably for my mom even though i really like age what's it called age defense type stuff um because they do say that you should start like in your mid-20s and um my cousin who works for all these companies i remember when i was really little i asked her how why her how her skin was so beautiful and she said sunscreen and starting to use age preventative stuff super early and it's so easy to just add some into whatever you're using so but I don't know what this is, but it has the most adorable packaging. It has like this, you know how things have the like droppers? It has this and then a little like dropper thing. And it's like a pretty thick serum, so I don't know. But my mom's probably going to get this. Um, she gets to, I felt so bad because she was like going through and she's like, I think that I might take this. And I was like, no mom, I have to do my video and then you can pick whatever you want. <laughs> it's like seven pounds of makeup and I look so selfish I'm like I have to show my friends on the internet um okay so you guys saw this from yesterday but in case there's people that are just looking for these types of videos um it's the MAC 150 brush which is like 
my dream brush because they're so expensive and like I've spoiled myself to um, my eyeshadow brushes and my uh, I have two lining brushes but I would never spoil myself to something like this so when I saw this I about keeled over and um, oh, I got something else from the Gareth Pugh. Um, this, I think, was a really old um, special collection. But at the beginning of the year when she sent me stuff, yes, at the beginning of the year she sent me another box of this. And I did the haul here on my channel, but in Florida. Um, I, I love this brush. I actually used it to put on my, well, now I don't have to because I have this brush, but... I use it to put on my like translucent powder that I have from e.l.f. Um, but I have one of these in Florida. I don't have one here because it's kind of hard to like pack up because it is on this like pretty big heavy block. Oh, don't even get me started until I show you this one thing from his collection. I don't even know how heavy it is. I don't, I won't. I'll go off when I get to it. Um, the next thing is a Bumble and Bumble BB Texture. Which is hilarious because um, Bumble and Bumble has amazing stuff and I love their products. But it's <laughs> it's called the Hair Undressing Cream. And it's it gives hair that elusive, undone, yet done quality with a hint of grit, extra lift, and a tousled, shine-free finish. Do you see how I wear my hair? Like, this is how I live my life. And even when I do, like, curls... I brush through them and then I like twist them all out and I'll put them up in a ponytail and I'm like, I just, mm -mm. And my, fr my friend Alicia is always like, you are the queen of like a messy bun or a messy ponytail and I'm like, yep, that's because I've been doing it since I was in high school. It just finally came back into style or came into style because it never was in style, but, um, and then in college when I drank a lot, um, my friends were always like, how do you always look so pretty when we all look so hungover? I'm like, because this is what I look like every other day. Like, I just throw my hair up and put glasses on and I wear no makeup and I just wear my hair crazy. So, um, but I probably will give this a try. If not, I'm sure one of my friends will take it off. I This is like one of the cool things about... Um, getting so many products is I actually love giving stuff to other people. I just give and I give and I give until it hurts sometimes. Um, Lori, if you freaking watched the Scrooged movie with Bill Murray, you would get that reference. This I was so excited about and I just want to let you know that while I was going through these things, at some point I was like, is she reading my mind? Like, uh, this is getting creepy because these are things that I was actually saving to buy. Like, because you have to save to buy MAC products. Um, but this is the MAC Pep and, Pep, Pep and Prime Prep and Prime Translucent Finishing Powder, which I would die for. Like, I wanted this so badly, but I would never buy it for myself. And I don't know if, like, all of the packaging comes like this. Can you guys see that? It's, like, sparkly red and green. It's so cute. But this is their, yeah, and the packaging is too. Hmm. Um, this is their, just their clear, it's white. Um, but yeah, there's a translucent press powder, which, I mean, you can't get any better than that. Oh, that is, that one was like, that's not going to anybody. That's going straight into my non-existent organizational system. That's one thing I haven't gotten figured out down here is where I'm going to put all my makeup. I need to get going because this video is already so long because I've been freaking talking so much. So stay right there. Stay right there. Don't move. Oh, I don't even know where the top of this is. Oh, here it is. So this is my, I bought this for myself in college. Um, and as you can see, it's well loved. And I don't even use that much bronzer or really use bronzer that often. Um, the top of it broke off and it's in golden, which works really well for um, really light skin. Um, if you have ivory skin and I'm warm. Um, 
So I really knew at some point I would have to replace it. And I've gotten a couple other brands and I just haven't liked them as much. Guess what I got in my package? The MAC bronzing powder in golden. And my cousin doesn't know this. Like I haven't seen my cousin in years. Um, and we don't talk about makeup when I talk to her because like she talks about makeup and all that stuff like all day long. So that was just amazing. I could not believe. I mean, she knows. So obviously she probably knew that was like my color. So I don't know. So the other brush that I got that I'm super excited to use, and I want to actually see what they say they're going to use it for, but I'm going to use it for like packing on like glitter or pigments and things like that. But it has a really cool angle to it. I think I'm going to have to do two parts to this, guys. I don't know. Unless you guys want to watch like a 20-minute video. Um, but this is the MAC 195. And then this is uh, a really cool, this is probably a lip I'm guessing this is a lip brush. Um, this is the, the 316, and it's so little and cute. It's adorable. I probably won't use it for my lips, but I'm guessing it's for lips because it has the like exterior thing to keep it in, which I'll probably lose in like five seconds. This is the thing. This is like 500 pounds. Like I don't understand why someone would make a product like this, and I don't know what it is. It's called Beauty Powder. Um, but it's, this is from the Gareth Pugh collection again. I really, I don't know what it is. I have no idea other than it is like, I mean, when I told my mom, I was like, it is so heavy. And she's like, it looks heavy. And I'm like, no, no, hold it. And she was like, no, I don't want to. And she, she felt it. And she was like, holy cow. It's like, let's see if it says it's eight grams, which is really freaking heavy. I mean, it's cool packaging. So, um. But it's this like, I'm sorry, I swatched it a bunch of, a couple times, but I, this is the last video I'm going to complain about my lighting because I'm going to put my lights up. Um, but it looks like it would be a highlighter, but it's like a little bit, I think I'll probably use it as a highlighter, but it almost doesn't look light enough to be a highlighter for someone with my complexion. So I don't know. Maybe I might try it on Leanne's um, skin and see if that works. Because it really, like when I put it on my skin, it just blends right in. So, um, I don't know. So, yeah. I'm talking way too much. I need to just be, I'm really sorry for those of you guys that just wanted to see the products. And you guys don't know me and like my ramblings. But you know what? I'm not sorry. If you like my videos then you should watch them and if you don't then go to another video that shows this okay so this is part of their um plush glass lip products and it is in the color ample pink i mean if you could put my in my brain my heavenly lip color into a package it would be this color it's like what my like na like natural lip color would look like if I didn't have no lip color <laughs> but I mean I'm obsessed with it it is just the perfect color like this is not a product that I will give away oh and the smell of their lip products is just divine um yeah, some of my friends, yeah, I might need to ask Lindsay not to watch this because she might be getting some of these products for Christmas. Might be regifting. Um, okay, so this is the Clinique Super Balance Powder Bronzer with Mini Makeup Bag by Clinique. And I think this was one that I was, my mom was eyeing. I love the little package that it comes in. Um, I think that this was one because I think this is going to be too dark for me. I think it'll be perfect for my mom. Because I think it's the bronze too. So it's a little bit darker. So I thought that was really adorable. But my mom's actually been getting into makeup lately. She didn't really wear makeup my whole entire life. And now she's started to like use brushes a little bit. And makeup. And um, I think mostly because I introduced her to like that... Um, my favorite foundation and she really likes that because it doesn't like feel cakey and gunky stuff like that 
Um, okay, so this is another Bumble and Bumble product just for thickening. It's contour cream. I think this would be really good for my mom because she has very thin hair and she has a very short hair. And you can kind of take it and like sculpt out some area that you like. Like if, like for instance, a lot of people's hair will flip in on one side and flip out on the other side. So you could take this once you warm it up on your hands and like use it to make this like flip out. Things like that. So shapes big looks with a little definition. Yeah, so it's just like use a little bit, a little tiny amount of this and it goes a long way. Um, Bella looks so freaking adorable right now. I have to, I know this is the longest video ever, but I just have to show you. Oh, she's still not feeling good. So I think we're gonna have to take her to the vet soon. She isn't, this isn't her vet. Um, I got a smash fix, smash box, um, lipstick. Oh my gosh, I don't know why that was so hard to say. And I'm so, it, like, it was one of those things that I'm so, I'm so grateful to get this because, it just reminded me that I need to not hold on to things so much because I got this amazing present for some one of my friends. And when I got it, I thought to myself, I have I'm going to have to keep it because I want to try um certain Smashbox. Well, all of I've never tried a Smashbox lipstick at all, but it had like a bunch of different kinds. And I really was thinking about keeping it. Like, how crummy is that? Like, keeping up. I mean, I know a lot of people keep Christmas presents. But but this was specifically for someone. Like, I had them in mind, you know? And, like, it was like, how crummy was it that I was thinking that? And then I ended up getting this. And I was like, you know what? That is perfect. But then when I got it, I was thinking, this would be a great giveaway gift. <laughs> um... So this is a Smashbox lip lipstick. I didn't um, swatch it, and I'm not going to because, like I said, um, even though I love it and it would be a perfect nude for someone that has as light a skin as I do, it's a very pinky nude. Um, it says it's very pink, but and it's coming off a little bit more pink than in person, but it is very nude. So um, it's pretty much the perfect... I think it actually would be a perfect nude for any skin color, to be honest. Um, again, I think Leanne would even like it, um, depending on if how much pigmentation it has. I would so swatch it for you guys to show you, but um, I do love to keep like a MAC lipstick or a Smashbox lipstick, because you guys seem to really love those in giveaways, so I don't know for sure, but... Um, I might. And then I got some of these, um, which I desperately need because I actually use them in my Studio Fix powder um, because I only use it underneath my eyes and I just love these the most. So, but I would never think to buy them for myself. myself so that was really great. Um, I just, this is um, a Select Sheer Loose Powder. Uh, and it's in NC20. Actually, now that I think of it, I want to, sorry, I'll be right back again. I didn't have this video planned out because, like I said, I'm not feeling well. Okay, okay, this is, um, I think that I'm going to give this to my mom or one of my friends because I'm an NW18. Hi, I'm your whitest friend you could ever have. Um, and it is, it does look very dark for me. So my mom, I don't know where I got my skin color from because my mom and dad are very dark. Um, I got this Smashbox Try It Kit, which has, um, just a few different Smashbox things. It has the lid, lid primer, which I actually just threw out. I really like their lid primer. Um, the regular face primer, um, but I think I might do this in a giveaway or give it to one of my friends. Okay, the one bag down T only took me 20 minutes. So I think that I will probably film the next one in another video. And the next two bags I should be able to do in one because the one just has a few things in it. And the other one are all lip products and eyeshadow. So that'll be a fun one. So, I hope you guys have a pretty, pretty stress-free day. I hope you guys like this video. 
looking at all my gear and um, I'm sending out X double O's and as always I will talk to you guys tomorrow.